Life is not all about tolerance, though it can feel like it more often than not. But it's meant to be a journey of self-discovery of yourself mainly, so that you can cre create your own unique reality and walk your own path towards whatever your purpose was meant to be. Life is so much more. It can start off differently, as when we are born, we don't have much say in how things are, and we often have to accept and learn to cope and manage till we become adults. So whether it starts off hard or on different levels of difficulty, or whether we started off happy, then things began to change, we need to start somewhere. And in between, we need to have a balance of challenges and happy times. Unfortunately, some of us would have experienced more bad than good, as we didn't exactly get off to a great start and it could have continued that way for a while and then we get conditioned to tolerate and handle challenging situations through our conditioned coping mechanisms and strategies that we were taught as children. However, if we survive those challenging times, we eventually grow into adulthood and with adulthood comes being able to take responsibilities of our own and perhaps also learning how to create our situations. Don't learn to bear your situation or to manage and cope with it if you actually have the ability to change your world. You don't have to learn to be content with your struggles so that you can have only barely what you want in your life or don't feel that all you deserve is a mediocre life either. You don't have to please anyone else for their benefit and you don't have to do anything that significant people in your life have told you that you need to unless you want to do this and it's beneficial for you as a person. I often want to ask people who tell me how to live, who died and made you God? My life and your life are so, so different as we are set on different paths. I must admit, for many people, I just need to step back and respect their decisions as their de decisions for me personally are really difficult for me to accept as I tend to move towards solutions and beneficial options and eventually outcomes. I don't believe in staying stuck and I believe that working and believing that things can be different sets out an energy force that will bring about some kind of positive change as opposed to staying stuck in predicaments that often you will find that there is a choice. Life is about self-discovery of what is beneficial to us and what is not. It's about reprogramming or unlearning some so-called facts that we have been taught and conditioned that may not resonate with our newly found belief systems anymore. Self-discovery is the innate ability to learn about what resonates deep within us on a soul level that leaves us feeling our true selves as we step into our true identity. It's a no holds bar system of trust and awareness that we can rely on our own intuition and step into our own judgment calls and stick to them, becoming unshakable in our quest towards finding out more about ourselves and our inner worth. We all have inner strength and inner talents that we were born with, and we all are here on earth to serve a purpose. And all of us, believe it or not, have a so-called soul mission to fulfill. Let your own inner intuition and intention set you towards your path in life and not live only to fulfill another's mission, intention or interest. They can achieve their own intentions and you can leave them to it. What tends to happen is the strong dictate the weak. And if you were never taught to fight for things that you believe in, as you had unfortunate role models who showed you otherwise, and to learn how to tolerate misery, then you will not be able to do it immediately as you were not shown how to, but instead you need to learn how to and to forget your past lessons which no longer serve you. Get rid of that selfish partner. Let go of that stupid job which leaves you feeling stressed out. Sort out the things that are not working in your family and learn to know when to stop. Some things are within your control, so control those things and let others which are not go, as only you have total control of you. 
you cannot change another person or get them to see something that they do not have interest in seeing. You cannot change someone's belief systems or values unless they are willing to listen. And you cannot expect that they will more importantly change for you as they will never be fulfilled and will end up in most cases resenting you. For example, if your partner wants to have a baby and has always craved for a family with children and you don't see it that way, preferring no children. Yes, you may be able to manipulate them to change their minds, but know that in their hearts, they're making an innate sacrifice for you and they will almost always be a void within them that they will fulfill through other means. And if you are intuitive enough, you will see it happening yourself through their actions. Partners who are not aligned with your personal values, beliefs and purpose are not going to synchronize with you along your journey and you will encounter many challenges just being with them. Same goes for family, friends who see life differently and who do not have the respect that each person is an individual and who makes you feel bad simply for being you. Time to have a reset of mindset and refresh your inner workings of beliefs, values, perceptions to see who are going to benefit you if they stay in your life and who are going to set you back. Doesn't really matter who they are to you, relationship-wise. You need to learn to discern and to have the courage to walk away despite what they think or feel. Everyone is responsible for themselves, so don't let them guilt trip you either. Stop being manipulated by people who allow you to think they only want the best for you, but ultimately have their own agenda. Look at their lives and see if they are walking their talk and living happy, fulfilled lives of their own. If they are not and are also tolerating or coping, then why the hell are you listening to them? What do they have to teach you except for how not to be? Fight the resistance to obligations, obligatory relationships, obligatory responses, obligatory actions, just to make others happy but not you. Learn to appreciate yourself more and perhaps to put yourself on that pedestal that you put others on for a change. Feel the difference but between being down looking up to them and being up looking downwards instead. Learn to embark on your own journey of self-discovery to discover what your happiness looks like and feels like. Don't take on the baggage of others, especially family. They almost always pass on the heaviest baggage, even when they pass away for you to carry forward. Learn to rely on your own sense of being and feeling. You know how things make you feel, so you need to learn to trust your emotions in whether you want to consciously continue to feel the way you are feeling for the benefit of someone else, or do you want to embrace your own emotions and resolve things your way? Never let others tell you you can't do something as that's their delusion and them showing their lack of self-confidence in you. Don't be manipulated into trusting someone when your gut or intuition is telling you otherwise and you feel that nagging feeling or hear a whisper that tells you that they are not right but something else tells you that you should still do quote and unquote the right thing to listen to them. Ask yourself right Thing for whom and where does this voice stem from? Plus, is it more important serving you right here and right now? If not, silence that voice or voices and commit to change. Changing your perspective of serving yourself and having the courage to follow your own chosen path even though you may initially walk alone, is fine. If you have courage, then you will eventually find your tribe. Plus, being alone sometimes is the best thing when you are awakening and really don't need any other person's influence on your thoughts. 
Always remember to learn to discern what is beneficial to you and what is not. And what is beneficial to you will normally resonate within your soul and it will nourish you in more ways than one and you will feel that you are somehow feeling better for a start. As always, change starts with you and only you. And if you are serious about helping yourself, then start thinking about how you perceive things differently. Once again, if this helps you in any way, please like my baby channel, help it to grow to be able to reach others who need to hear the messages and share and subscribe. Comments are always welcome. And as this platform is only created for like-minded people who want to change their lives and who are looking to progress to live to their full, fullest potential, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Please feel free to ask any questions you may have. And once again, thank you for listening. Till we meet again.